I'm Mariam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to dye raffia and corn husk. And I'm going to go ahead and cover both of them because they're done basically the same way. And the raffia you can buy in a big bundle like at Michael's and it's really nice raffia. I've kind of got it um, wadded up so it doesn't quite look as well. And then the corn husk you can buy as tamale um, makings and you can buy, I bought mine at the 99 cent store and I prefer the cheaper ones over the more expensive ones but you also can find it in your grocery store in the ethnic section if you look for that. But those are um, where I purchase mine. And don't forget, when you're going to Michael's, take your 40% off, and then it's really reasonable. Now, the first thing I did with both of these, because they're very similar, uh, we're going to take them and we're going to put them in a big pot, and we're going to boil them. And what this is going to do is they kind of get a waxy film on them, and they don't always dye the same on the front or the back, or there may be a section of the raffia that's more waxy than others and it doesn't die as well so this gets it more even in the same pores all throughout both of those um, products now remember that when we're done you're still working with a yellow base so your blues and greens and everything like that you've kind of got a yellow base so you want to also kind of keep that in mind once those are done don't add the dye on top of them because when you add the dye and it's not mixed up, it's going to take in different areas. So go ahead and take it out, put it into a little plastic container. I buy containers like this when I'm working on these projects so that I can move it around. And then take your pot again and you're going to use an old pot that you're not going to use again. Pick it up at the thrift store or garage sale, anything like that and we're going to add our water to it and you don't want to use more than a gallon of water and I like to use less than that just depending on how much of the raffia or the corn husk you're going to put into it to keep it um, you don't want to d dilute it too much but we're going to put the water in and then we're going to put a fourth a cup salt in and then we're going to put our coloring in and you can use a lot of different things you can do I couldn't find these colors and these colors and these colors and these so I bought a combination of everything I've got Ritz dye which I found at Walmart in the home section where you find the um, your uh, bleach and different items like that and then I found the fabric dye in the craft section but you can also dye them with leather dyes and ink dyes and different things like that or you can kind of use a combination of the two if you're not getting a bright enough color and that's usually what I do I'll start out with one of my fabric dyes and if it's not quite as bright I'll add a little bit of other dye to it now this made these really really blue and I did a blue and I started out with that and I'll show you both my raffia and my corn husk and how blue those were. So once we've got this in here, we've got it dissolved and it starts to boil, we're going to go ahead and add either of those in there and then I also set a rock on top of them to help weight them down a little bit. On this pan I had like a... Um, a strainer and I could put that on top and just have the water cover that but you also want to make sure that while it is simmering we're going to come in here and we're going to move it around now once it has reached boiling turn it on simmer and simmer it until you get the color you want I found it did not take that long for the raffia it took a little bit long for the corn husk but just depending on what kind of color you want it. Now this was my first batch of the corn husk and this was my second batch and this was my third batch. So you can see how the dye is getting lighter as we're going along. So 
you're using up your dye so if you want to keep it the same color you may have to start if you need more from the beginning again and do it more and I found out because when I was doing some earlier projects last year I didn't do them warm I did them cold and it really just sets the color that much more and picks the color up brighter so I really like doing it that way so once you've reached your desired color and don't forget it's going to look a little bit darker until you get it dried you go ahead and remove it from the fire turn your stove off and then I brought my water over to the stove a container like this and I put half or excuse me a cup of white vinegar into the water and I pulled it out and I set it into my plastic container and just again just enough water and vinegar to let that kind of sit there and what that's doing is holding the color so you're stabilizing that color and then leave that for 30 to 40 minutes and then once that is completely done you can take that and either pour it out or just run water in there until you, your rinse water starts to really appear clean and that is simply how we do our raffia and this was also the same color and a few takes down but I really like the green as well so there is no right or wrong on that and you can see how that really turned um, the blue into the green because we do have that yellow base but a lot of fun that is and I'm going to do a lot of pro more projects with both of the items of corn husk and the raffia so look forward to that if you have any questions about anything we did here today please email me at art at miriamjoy Dot com. Jump over to our Facebook at Mary and Joy Gore Creations. We're always putting up new fun pictures and videos for you. Thank you. God bless.